Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Fruit Stands Around Menacingly. And also, we, uh, why aren't you researching, Parrish? There you go. We do some research here, and everyone else does some mining. It's pretty great. Just have to make sure to keep an eye out every once in a while. Make sure we're not going to get attacked by anything. And life should be good. Or so I would hope. Anyway, how's it going? We got, what, 11 copper already? Yeah, buddy. It's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. Okay, and I believe we are researching beds over here still. Wait, where's my house? Where's my house? Okay, there it is. Slow down. Slow down. We can still do a little bit of training with you. Although, I'm, once beds are done, what I want to do is use the rest of those books and buy more books so that we can research the next level of technology. Because the next level of technology actually includes how we do it on food. I mean, we could use a little bit more. Yeah, I'll go get some more food. You can go to the bar and buy some. Next level of technology includes prisoner uh, cells, which would make it so I don't have to babysit this person all the time. And I think that might be the way to go. Hello. Horseweed. How you doing? I'm just gonna... Dust King, huh? I'm just gonna buy all this. Hope you don't mind. Thank you. See ya. Wish you had some books, but I understand that you don't. Open door. Close door. Pick her up. Put her in a bed. Give her a food, just in case she needs it. Give Parrish a food, just in case he needs some. Throw some food on the floor for fruit. And he ate it. There you go. Everyone over here is good. Back to the away team. How we doing? Seem to be doing all right. We're up to 15 copper now. No, you can actually see Squin from here. That's fantastic. We're not as far from home as I thought. This still scares the hell out of me. But as long as it's empty, let's go with it, right? Another camp over here? Hey, don't pull don't pull me back like that, you jerk. Yes, I think that's another camp over there. Uh good to know. Good to know. Beds are researched now. So it's the middle of the night. We might as well go do some training. Hello! Mrs. Retreating Fast. How you doing? Not well, it looks like. It looks like you've been injured a bit. Let's go. Oof! That's right. You build my toughness. Build my dexterity when I hit. Toughness and or dodge when I miss. Or when I get hit, I should say. It's fantastic. The only time I don't get any skill is when I miss an attack. And I'm okay with that. There we go, and uh, well, I'm not okay with how much I'm missing right now, but I'm okay with missing a couple. Put it that way. Boom. That's right, hit her somewhere that's not the freaking chest. With that leg's looking pretty rough. Her KO point's 23, though, so she's tough. Probably been building her own toughness as we've been going on. I don't know if it works like that for NPCs, but if it does, I'm sure she's getting stronger. Oh... Go ahead and patch her up. Patch yourselves up. Oh, quit shivering. Get over here. Rest for a bit. I'll do the same. Away team, I'll check on you. How we doing? We're looking safe. Mm 
We're looking fine right now. Just gotta keep an eye out for like bandits and stuff. 17 kappa. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Back to work they go. What the hell is everyone doing? Why are you hauling two over there? Okay, that's not gonna work. I guess they don't all need a hauling two order then, huh? Tell you what. Let's only have one of them do haul two. Let's have that be Miskatonic so that he can train his athletics some more. He is actually at the lowest of athletics, so... Prayer day on the way to your outpost. What the hell is prayer day? Like some dudes from the Holy Nation? I don't know what that means, but it concerns me. I think it might be time to, uh... To pick up and leave. And now Miskatonic's the only one running around. This is much better. Much healthier. It's 3 a.m. Alright, you tell you what. Let's get 25 and go. I'm actually going to disassemble the box. So that I can pick it up later. But I got to keep this... I gotta keep the spot marked. Your outpost. Let stay. Will that marking stay there forever. Can I put a new marking there? I don't think it does anything. I mean, it tells Hobbs to move there, but other than that. Okay, cool. Everyone, gather up. All right. Stop doing these jobs. Cool. Let's go ahead and have someone open this. There we go. Throw it all into Muff here. Dismantle this real quick. Man, that was real quick. Grab the iron plates. Put that in Muff. Was that all? Did it only take one iron plate for that? Yeah, it did. All right, cool. Give me your food. Hungry bandit leader. I don't see anyone with him. Which is good. <laughs> Needless to say. Looks like we picked the perfect time to leave. All right. Dante, don't you have a ranged weapon as well? You do. Yo, shoot. Hobbs. Get him from behind. Well, no wonder you're passive. Everyone's passive. Everyone, stop being so passive. There we go. Get bodied. Uh, let's see. Horse chopper. I mean, really, Muff? You're not... Come on now. There we go. Okay. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you, bandit leader. Very cool. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, maybe we are good to continue, but... Let's go sell this. Sell what we got over at Squin first. I assume everyone was patched up already. I assumed correctly. Ain't nothing to worry about. Not yet. Ooh. Bigger battle going on over here between Dust Bandits and Hungry Bandits. Ah, uh, yes. The Eternal. Didn't mean to do that. The Eternal battle. Should be able to just uh, coast around this one. Without too much of an issue. Alright, looks like we're going to be fine. 
It is daytime. I can't get out of here. You can't get out of the training area? I was gonna say. Me. Fight. Perish. Leave. Door. Close. Hi. Alright. General store still in open? You don't open at 5 a.m.? What are you doing with your life? Ooh, we got 10 dodge. Also 10 melee defense. Don't know what that's worth. Probably a lot, considering it decides how often you block. Four martial arts, 15 toughness. We're getting there. We're also like learning a little bit of first aid as we go on. We can also learn how to make beds now. Well, they're still not open. Well, hurry up and open. We got people waiting to sell. Come on, dudes. We got money to be made. It's got to matter to someone in this life. I'm guessing most shops don't open till like six. Hello, Pack Beast. What are you doing here? Just hanging out. I get it. Don't worry, I do. Let's go ahead and uh, put her back into a bed. All right. Well, armor shop's open now. Hello. I didn't realize you had an armor crafting bench here. That's pretty cool. Apparently, we're free to use it if we want to. Anyway, yes, we are looking to trade. Uh, have these pants. Have... Yes, have this horse chopper. It's not that good. Wooden sandals can go, and then uh, we will make a little money. Cool. Very nice. Good start, at least. Let's go pick up some food for these guys. Hopefully they have some at the bar. If they don't, well, they don't. Parish, get inside. See if they have books. Yeah. I believe we have seven books right now. Eight, nine, ten. Ball. -ho 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 -ho. So good. What does it take to make beds? They got four fabrics and like six leathers. Interior bed for fabrics. Okay, well, let's make a bed then. How much are your fabrics? 65 each? Small potatoes. Takes that and a... and a resource, so... One of these resources. Building materials. Okay. Away team. Hello. I want to talk to Horseweed. Uh, he does not have any more cubes, but you know we could we could afford to eat a little bit richer. Not this richer though, because it's really dried fish. It's not worth it. Man, nah, meat wraps don't really seem worth it either. Right, let's see if the traveling trader has anything. The shop should restock soon anyway, but still. Cool. Welcome to Build a Bed Workshop. We're gonna build a bed. Hmm. You put it under the stairs. Kind of. I mean, that's good enough. You don't need someone to be able to get on it, the bed in, on both sides. The dude is doing it. Uh, excuse you. Um, that's not how that's supposed to work. Alright. Apparently they can just walk through doors now. No, that's fine. I'll rejoin the, uh... I'll rejoin the away team. Fruit's gonna stay here, though, because I... Don't trust... Nothing bad to happen to Fruit. Alright. Cool. Drop this. Drop this. Perish. 
take some food. Reynold. Equip a chopper. Equip a bakasaji. Let's go join the away team. Squad up. And they're all like, dang it, he's back. Why? Why did he have to come back? Anyway, hello. They shouldn't be that mad, though. I'm the one carrying all the food. Yo. Speaking of food. Oh, here's where all the books live. <laughs> okay. I mean, they carry rations. Seem like a good source of food. 125 nutrients for a thousand is not bad. You know what? Let's grab a couple of rations. I think that's a good idea. Shopper's Guide. Katun has the most famous weaponsmith. But don't forget Hang, one of the best weapon shops around. Hmm. Good to know. Tech Hunter towns are best for crossbows. Heft is the best place they found for armor. Black Desert City for robotics. Very cool. Thank you for letting me browse that without actually uh, buying anything. I think we're still good on ammo. We seem to be pretty good on... You know what? Get me a standard first aid kit for Hobbs as well. And then I think we're good on first aid. We already know the Sheck Kingdom. We don't, I don't think we need splint kits. In fact, I think we have everything we need right here. To get moving. Let's head back out there. Learn some more things, you know? We'll head this way. Now, granted, we could head right over here and just, uh... Attack this escaped servant again. Will we? I don't know, but we could. Uh, build the bed, dude. I didn't want you to add just one fabric to it and consider it done. You did the research. You should know how to do this. Fruit is our faithful guard dog. Until fruit grows up. I mean, Muff is still a teen. Yeah, we're healthy. Let's go. So as we all know, this bandit camp over here got completely wrecked. In fact, the beds are even gone now, it looks like. Yep, it's completely gone. How unfortunate. I wonder how this battle up here... Okay, game. Stop. I wonder how this battle up here went. You guys remember there was a... Ba oh, it's still going. They're still fighting. Oh, dear. I mean, it's no surprise that the Dust Bandits won. Alright, we got a real bed. Cool. Let's go open this inventory over here. I could have sworn we had more books than this. Oh well, we know where to get more. Off to the traveling merchant. Alright, back to the away team. What's up, guys? So the Dust Bandits won. Hardly, it looks like. And they even left a Hungry Bandit here. A couple of them. Ooh, lad. This did not go well for you, did it, my friend? I'm just gonna leave them. I don't even know if it's worth pillaging them. Head back to our... Sitting copper here in the middle of nowhere. Is this still labeled as, like, our outpost? It is not anymore. Now we got an area up here labeled as our outpost. I don't know why, but there it is. So yeah, there's apparently a faction of 25 capable of living over here. So we have to watch out. In fact, are there 25 dudes there? Is that their whole team? I hope not. 
Okay. We're back. Dante, I think you have the goods. Yep. Let's go ahead and make another storage. Thank you. And once you've done that, everyone can help build it. We'll go up in a GIF. All right, perish. Time to shop. Yo, yes, I'm looking to trade. Um, yeah. <laughs> perish, you're gonna be a smart lad, whether you like it or not. Let's go over here so we can put it all in the inventory. Alright, uh, please don't tell me you're actually going to attack right now. Ah! We're only out one item if they decide to at actually attack. Is it only a couple of them attacking? Because we could take a couple. We could take on like two or three of them, no problem. I was honestly concerned that they were all going to turn around. Okay. What do you got? A dust boss? Let's dust them. Alright. Turn around. Get ready. Be on the lookout. We're not concerned about the storage. It's literally one iron plate. And it looks like they're going to ignore it anyway. Cool. Alright. Disarm him. Some standard grade stuff over here. All right. Dude, we can research forever now. Get some nice armor on him. Is he dying or is he just unconscious? He's just unconscious, but that's okay. We take any damage? Very little, if any. And the dust guys decided to leave, it looks like. So, I think we're good to mine some more. Beautiful, beautiful. Home team. My dude. It's time. Start with tech level three. Since we have infinitum books. Go at it. Okay, this is done. So, what's the plan now? Um, well... We should have one person set to haul stuff to. I think that's going to be... It's going to be Miskatonic. Reynold. Reynold and... You know, we'll have Reynold and Hobbs work over here. And then... Ruka and Dante can concentrate on the other two. And we're just mining here. Most of us. Yeah, that's the other one. I feel like that's a little far away, but that's okay. All right. Let's go team. I don't see any more bandits. It looks like we're going to be safe. We've already got a copper. It's beautiful. We already got two coppers. It's excellent. Got three? Oh, Miskatonic's going to come over here to deliver. Cool. I like this. I like this way of everyone gets to build some kind of skill while we're doing this. And like I said, worst case scenario, we're out a single iron plate and maybe some copper. But we still get to keep all the skills that we've learned. And at the end of the day, isn't that what's important? What the hell are you doing in my house, dude? Go 100 guard something else. Hello, fruit. Eat up. You're growing puppers. Okay, how long does it take to actually research this? We're looking at about four hours now. The cost, of course, has been paid. We can look at other things that we can build as well. Interior lighting. 
I mean, could be nice. Better walls, mounted crossbows. We could learn how to make sleeping bags and first aid kits, which could both be good. Making better weapons. Ridiculed by many and often hailed as CAC extensions. Beautiful. Assassin training and thievery training could be pretty good, too. How we doing? How we doing? We up to nine already. It's pretty good. You know, the only actual tough part about this is that it's like in the middle of a... Whoa! Prayer day has arrived at your outpost. I do not know what this means. Even better that it is prayer day. He is a holy priest of the holy nation. I guess go talk to him? I don't like how the music is... is... climbing up here. Hello. Blessings from the Lord of Light, brother. It is with great sadness I see that you do not have the good fortune of living within easy distance of one of our faithful churches. So I've come to give prayers with you here, my beloved brother. Now take out your holy flame and press it to your heart. I don't have the holy flame. You are new. It is forgiven. But be warned, it is a crime to be without it. Am I even in their territory? Here, take this. Carry it on you at all times. Never be without it. Now hold on to my hand. Psh. Yeah, let's not think I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe let's just do it. Yeah. Oh, Oak Run, Lord of Light. Ugh, why did I agree with this? It's what I'm thinking internally, but uh, I know why I'm thinking of this. Because uh, these guys are right here. But thine flame burneth bright with this blessed body most pure. Let us not be tempted by the shadow's lure. Let us not yearn for flesh yearn for fleshly pleasure. <sighs> But yearn only for love from the creator. Kill me now. Let us honor our sacred brothers. Let us abstain from intoxications. <laughs> for darkness preys on the idle mind. Let us pray for the well-being of all mankind. In faith. Until next prayer day, brother. It has been my pleasure. Alright, thanks. Cool. I guess you got this now. Huzzah. So this is like technically in like the Holy Nation's claimed area, I guess. Hmm. I don't appreciate it, but I acknowledge it. In fact, I am starting to feel like we might need to move away from them crazy boys. But we'll see. Research is popping off still. It's beautiful. He's got plenty of food. Got nothing he needs in this life. Parish is doing good. You know, if you want to be a if you want to be a useful holy flame, why don't you lend us one or two of those paladins so that we can take on these bastards over here that I see walking this way. Freaking dust bosses, man. Alright. We see them. We make a tactical... tactical maneuver. Grab the copper. Everyone, ignore your job. Let's run. I saw them over here. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Okay, right, we got this. We got this. They're leaving. They've left. They decided to go torture someone else. Cool. Then come back. Say, get to your jobs. Everyone's back. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who you? Who this? It's this guy again. Don't tell me you're actually coming back to fight. Oh, you're heading back to your formation. I see. 
Yeah, he's like, whoops, I'm naked. Better go run back to my boys. All right, it works for me. Prayer day. You even joking me here? All right, we're almost done with... We're almost done with tech level three. Then we get to see how big a freaking tech three research bench is. Given how big some of the other ones are, it's probably like... Ew, there's a body here. Apparently, dead bodies, uh, their goal is a little aimless. Tech level three is done, my dudes. Tech level four. Yeah, we need a tech... Tech bench to do any of these. But there's prisoner cage, as you can see. Oh, how big is this bloody thing gonna be? Oh, do I really want to know? It's actually not that much bigger. Thank God. It does take a power, though. Which is good to know. Yeah, it can only be worked by one person. With how big it is, you think it be could be worked by more. 20 iron plates? Are you actually joking me? All right. Well, next time, here on That Plays Kenshi, Parrish is going to have some work to do. He's going to have to take apart this... This research bench, and we're going to have to turn it into a nice, swood research bench number three. The away team is going to continue mining. And we're going to become, hopefully, a wealthy little colony here soon. Or at least a wealthy group of dudes. Hey, there's another copper resource up here that's even better. Dude, are they fighting the dust bandits again? Because that's going to be amazing. Dust bandits... Starving man, it's beautiful. That means they're not attacking us. Anyway, that's all going to happen next time here on That Plays Kenshi. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming and won't stop coming. Isn't that right, Muff? That's right. Too bad you can't just bust down the copper with your head. Anyway, thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Kenshi. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. Run, Miskatonic. Run. What a champ. What a champ.